So I already started building my personal application here. I don't want to redo everything from scratch. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and split this up into from a two layered application that we have right here and actually into a two tier by adding a new project where we can kind of grab the context and pull that into the new tier. So we're going to kind of split things up where we right now have a two tiered application right here with an MVC like this and then down here instead of the proxy we actually use the data access layer down here. So it's instead of what we have there, it's kind of looking like this right now. So the data access layer is actually right here, right? We want to split that up now so it looks more like the drawing we have right here. So we want to instead add a proxy layer here. So we still have two layers, but it'll be a proxy layer instead of a data access layer. We're going to add a REST API here and we're going to add a data access layer here. So we're going to just take this guy that is right here now and then move him boom, into this tier instead, right? That's the goal of it. <clears throat> so let's start out there. Let's start out by making a new, um, an entire new solution for the second tier. Just think of the tier as a guy that could be placed on any machine in the world. A, a tier can be placed anywhere. Where a layer kind of is bound to a single machine where they work together on a single machine, right? So these two layers will work together, but the tier will be a full featured application that we can place on any machine we want. The same here, these two work together, the two layers but the tier can be placed anywhere to work together with another tier somewhere else. Okay, so <clears throat> let's try and do that. Let's try and start out by just making a new project. I have a new project, uh, an entire new solution that I'm going to start here. Pressing new project, nothing strange there. We want this to be a web API. So I'm selecting the .NET framework and I'm going to call this um, person application and person application uh, web API, REST API, let's call it that, like this. Just a name, I'm going to place it inside my work folder like always, and the solution name is probably going to be um, the same. So this will be the REST API and this will be the name of the solution. Mm, let's just call this solution just to have another folder name to not confuse anybody. I'll say okay and it'll start creating this for me. So there we go, we have a few choices here and I'm going to choose web API this time. We chose MVC in, in the previous lessons but now it's going to be the REST API we're going to build because we actually want to now build this guy right here. Well earlier we've built this guy over here okay. So the goal is to start building this guy. Great. So I'm going back to my solution. I'm picking web API. I'm going to keep authentication this time. I'm going to set it to individual user accounts. You have a few choices here but I'm picking individual user account. That means I can set up any kind of user setup I want to decide, right? And it'll help me right out of the box build this default setup. I do not want to host this in the cloud. You can do that later if you want to. Um, it's pretty simple when you already set up on Azure like I am, but let's look at that later. I wanted to have some MVC. Now the MVC will be for us to have some documentation on our REST API. That's pretty awesome, so keep that in there. And I want the web API, that's what we're doing. If you want to play around with unit tests, you can go for that. I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, so let's just say okay and it'll build scaffold the solution for us. I'll get back to you when it's done. So it takes a couple of minutes to actually set this project up but let's look at some of the cool things right away. Well first of all notice how much it looks like the MVC projects. Just look at this. We have some controllers, we have some um, views, we have some scripts. So there are a lot of things in here. We have models. Uh, it looks so much like the, the MVC solution, so we, we already know where to start, right? If we want to start building something, we probably need to look at the controllers to do that. So so we got so much help right out of, right away. And let's have a look at the values controller. Actually, let's start and try and run this just to show you how it actually works. So it pops up with a, something that looks kind of like the same thing we had in the REST API, right? Now we have a home page, looks nothing special here, but we have something here called API. Now this is the MVC part of the web API I talked about. This is a presentation of all the different things you can actually do with the REST API that you just built, right? So here's a list of all the different things that I can call inside the system right out of the box as the scaffolded solution has built for me. So let's just, uh, for the fun of it, start out here with just saying get values. So I can say slash API slash values. Now we'll get more into this later. So we just scaffolded the solution, so don't, don't start hurting yourself by trying to figure out everything right away. But it says authentication has been denied for this request. This is the security that was already set up for us, right? So 
we, we are not going to go any further in this video, but we are going to try and make our own controller soon. And then we are going to try and work with all of these beautiful things that were created for us. See you in the next lesson where we'll start explaining some of the things inside the REST API.